Well, it's uh, wet. Whoop, not wet enough yet, but it's starting to sprinkle. The uh, supposed to be uh, in the 20s tonight. It's 52 degrees right now. I'm heading to the foundry uh, to check on the uh, wax of Captain Lovewell that I took uh, a uh, clay in uh, all about a month ago uh, to get a mold made of and they got the first uh, wax out of that mold and it's going to be the only wax, it's going to be a one of a kind piece. Anyway, I told them I'd like to come in and check the wax, make sure everything's clean and kosher and then uh, the next stage will be uh, putting sprues on it and uh, those are the uh, tubes that run from different points on the uh, wax to a pour cup and then they'll pour it in bronze. So that's what I'm doing today, just uh, running to Bozeman and doing some checkup. And I'll uh, show me working on it there at the foundry when I get there. All right, I've got uh, the wax of uh, Captain Lovewell. <laughs> If I can get in the camera, this is uh, the upper body from about the ankles up. And uh, he can just clean up little areas that I see that need to be cleaned up and uh, add to areas that I think I need to be added to. And, uh, but it looks really clean. Uh, Elaine over here uh, had to do a lot of filling in for me because I screwed up. Thank you, Elaine. Yes. <laughs> Just got one little problem here with the uh, trigger guard, and I'm going to redo that because it looks a little like a snake eye instead of a trigger guard. It's better to catch it here than wait for it to be in bronze. Sometimes uh, when you're getting stuff cast at a foundry you're gonna have to do a little work on them at the foundry it's sometimes good to bring tools that you think you may need what I do is I put some glue wax it's uh I'll show you what it looks like that's that's glue wax right there there we go I think I got that and your little Boy, that looks good. Okay. That looks good. Or you're just going to hit one big old long bite. Yeah. Don't let the cord pull your statue over. It's got to be strong. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh, it'll stick to your ribs. Alright. Alright. Got the trigger guard. I got one finger that needs to be lengthened. This finger here, and it's just not a big deal, but it's got a sharp nub of a finger. And it probably was uh, overlooked by me and not necessarily the foundry's fault. Unless it was Elaine's fault. <laughs> I thought it looked a little short, but I wanted you to take it. Yeah, me. that's fine. Yeah. Some artists like that. I'm me, I trust your judgment. <laughs> Could have been trapped in the mold there, but again, I figured since you were coming out. As well. Elaine's a hell of a sculptress <laughs> as well. Check out my Aries is put together back there. It's ready to be sanded. I will. Okay, I think that's good. I wanted to basically check this because I couldn't see underneath here. Now this looks like uh, an extra sleeve, but that's just uh, you know extra wax right there that uh, from the mold. Looks good. And 
Oh, did you see Scott? I think you just got yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah. Now, this is just uh, a little bit of his lapel of his coat right here, cast separate. Real deep undercuts are hard to get, and that's why they did that. And the, then the barrel of the rifle. It looks straight. Oh, you got one done? Oh. No. Nancy Lane's Pisces. Pisces, and she has a. She's tail. doing. She's doing the. Uh, the um, astrology. The astrology figures. figures. She's getting uh, popcorn off the uh, thing, but that's her tail. So the tail. That is really cool. I like the way her legs are coming out of the. Uh, the yeah, fish. so it's peeling off of her. Yeah. And then this arm, she has a fish levitating, and this one, she's holding her planet. Like a ball in Okay, her hand. okay. Um, so it's not the claw over here. Show them yeah, the claw. No, we were thinking maybe we could use this or this. <laughs> no, no, I, I, well, as her arm, you know. But, just, oh, yes, or like this. Yeah, that's, no, not, that's no. somebody else's work. Here I have uh, her arm right here. Oh, yeah, she's got the fish. The fish, and then um, the fish's tail. The other pieces are yeah. over there, and you can see the ball with the arm. Oh, yeah, there's the, uh, let me zoom in. And there's the arm with the ball. Yeah. And Elaine's working on her own time right now. Oh, and they can see the clay was right over there. Oh yeah. And that's her clay. That was, yeah. How long ago did you get make the mold of that? The mold was made, it was just finished what yesterday? The mold was finished yesterday. Wow. The wax was poured yesterday and now you, I'm you were you today. were anxious to get on this thing, oh, weren't you? It's been up there for three months. So uh, a mold can take two weeks, but in this case we had a lot of things. They got this one up. out pretty quick too. Oh they really like a week they cleaned yeah, that good. thing out. So yeah, put her back on. Yeah. We're gonna go see her Aries. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is still in uh, raw bronze, uncolored, but boy, that look, I like that. That looks really good. It turned out nice here if I try not to make that loud noise. But yeah, it's just ready to be sandblasted and then uh, the Now you're using uh, uh, true form armatures, aren't you? Yeah, but I cut down the shoulders a little. Yeah. With this one, but I'm starting to cut down their forearms. Yeah. Like because it's made for a male, and if you don't mm -hmm. cut down the width, it looks yeah. like a very broad shouldered I, I woman. I leave the hips, but I shorten here and here for the women. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. That looks great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there's the uh, wax that's uh, finished. Uh, there are the parts that uh, were cast separate. And uh, they're going to be ready to sprue this up, I guess, within the next day or two, right? Yes. yes. And they've already done the base. I'm going to go over here and show you. This is the uh, base for the uh, Lovewell piece, and you can see the sprue. Those are the, that's the red. And then the cup uh, that they pour the bronze into. This is all made of a... They make a uh, shell of this out of ceramic material, and then they melt the uh, wax out of that ceramic material. And then they pour the bronze in. So, and it's all done hollow, as you can see there. So that's going to be it from the foundry. I'm going to be heading home. Now well, I just got back in the valley and uh, from Bozeman. Beautiful, beautiful after the rain type weather. I'm going to be uh, taking about uh, three weeks off from doing uh, sculpting and stuff like that. I've got to I've got to uh, start getting my uh, studio uh, moved into my house for the winter. And I think we're going to have an early winter and that's why I'm going to do it now instead of waiting until November or so. So I'm going to do some work around the house, work around the yard, just do things I have to do to uh, get ready for winter. Don't forget about the uh, DVD that I just came out with and uh, the offer that uh, I'm making uh, for the first 20 buyers of that DVD. I've got uh, 
four already sold and uh, so as soon as this little message that you see now appearing on my video disappears that will indicate that all 20 have been sold so you might want to get in on that and uh, have a great September